Hey guys, cool for grabs here. Welcome to the underside of my 85 Nissan 300ZX. I'm going to be working on replacing the uh, cross member here with the turbo one in preparation for the turbo. So, uh, just I'll be keeping you guys posted on the status. There's a lot to remove. Continuing along here, just trying to get these mounts off. Um, I'm just capping them off or uh, pulling off the bolt on the top on this side and on this side I'm pulling off the bottom of the mount because on this side the uh, the mount's different but on the other side it's not so the engine can just easily just slip in on the other side and this side when I flip the mount around I can pull it off of the cross member here once it's out and move along um, just pulling out bolts I've already got cross member to the steering rack bolts off. Uh, they're still in there just for now. Just trying to get everything off. Ready to just drop the thing. I'm working on steering rack. And she's almost ready. Okay, the motor's up. Um, with this swap, I need to jack it up from the oil pan. Um, most people would say not to. They probably are right. <laughs> but since I am not using the oil pan that's already in there, I haven't switched it over yet. I don't really care if it breaks it or bends it or anything. So it has enough power to or uh, strength to support it. So now I'll be switching over the cross member. I got the cross member out, so we're about ready for the turbo one. I just have to take off this motor mount, which we will be putting her back. Well, here in. you can see we have the difference between the any and the turbo. The turbo's up front. This one. Forward, so it makes room for the turbo. And back is the NA, because it doesn't have to worry about the turbo. Motor's finally dropped back into place here. We're not on the ground yet, but the jack is not supporting the motor anymore. Got both in. You know, they're a little bit of an issue, but you know, it's what you have to expect when you're just moving around an engine. It moves around quite easily, so it shouldn't be a problem if you decide to do it. Um, you have to move the control arms and the sway bar and unbolt them and then you'll have to move this bar over and then it'll just drop out of place. Um, I have jack stands under the main body of the car on the rails so that's what's supporting that and then I just use the jack to jack up the engine to move it. Okay, there we go. Now she's back on the ground. Um, I also added some energy suspension polyurethane bushes on the sway bar on the end links. I don't know if you can see the sway bars. There, there we go. Um, they look like they're going to be nice. It's a little tricky to get them to fit in this car, but I just got the uh, bushing set. So, um, for now, that's one step done. Uh, it's a little complicated, but I got her through. It gives me a lot more room to mess with that manifold and get everything out of there. So, see you guys.